with Stephen Stomps with Stomsky Racing. Today we're going to demonstrate our SR008 sprocket alignment tool. The tool is used to make sure that the sprockets and chains on your engine are proper alignment and parallel to each other so there is no premature wear on the chain or premature wear of the sprocket itself. In order to demonstrate this tool, we first need to set the engine up. And to do that, I'm going to show you what the first step is. First step is to set up the sprockets and add the thrust washer and the shims to where they belong. Thrust washer goes in first with the bevel side facing in. And on the left side, we put, usually to start, we put in three shim washers. We leave the woodruff key out. This makes it a lot easier to add shim washers if we need to. Inner sprocket goes first. Outer sprocket, concave facing outward. And then the bolt on this engine, because it's a 3-2, it is actually a bolt holding gear in place. Not absolutely necessary, but I put a small torque on the end, this bolt, just to make sure everything's closed up. Give the hammer just tap to make sure that we're all the way up. I also do the same thing on the intermediate shaft, just a small tap to make sure that we're flush. And the same thing on 4-5-6 side, which is set up Similarly to the one, two, three side, again, making sure the thrust washer bevel side in goes first. On the four, five, six side, I use four shim washers to start. Inner sprocket, again, without the Woodruff key. Outer sprocket goes on next. And on the four, five, six side, outer sprocket is mounted so that the flat side is out. the bolt. And again, I'm just going to put a small torque on it just to make sure that everything is properly seated. And a small tap just to make sure we're seated as well. Now before we mount the SR008 sprocket block onto the engine case, we first need to zero out our vernier calipers against the intermediate plate, intermediate shaft. And do so, mount our bar up against the engine and zero out the caliper. Do it a few times just to make sure that you're getting consistent measurement. And once you feel comfortable with that, you're good to go. Now two verniers are zeroed out. And now I'm going to mount sprocket alignment tool in place. And I'm going to start off with the four, five, six side first. Now that our verniers are zeroed out, I'm going to mount the straight edge with the block in place onto the engine and start off measuring for alignment on the 456 side. Simply lock down the block in place with the two thumb screws or three depending upon which, which engine you're working on. Then snap into place the vernier caliper base, which allows you to keep your caliper perpendicular. So now we measure off of the face of the sprocket to the outside edge of the straight edge. And here we're coming in at 43.32. Spec is 43.27. You, you can take measurements from both the top and the bottom side here. And we're still well within spec. Spec being 25 hundredths of a millimeter. If you happen to have to change the shims Simply loosen up the thumb screws, slide this out of the way, break your, break your bolt free, add or subtract shims as you need to. I've also I also mark a couple different indicator points on the straight edge. One is this point right here on the outside edge, which is going to be the same, manifest the same on both the left side and the right side. That way, if there's any, any kind of deviation in the straight edge, it'll be taken into consideration evenly on both, both sides. Once we're done the 4, 5, 6 side, then we're going, to flip it. we're going to flip everything over and do the 1, 2, 3 side. But to do that, we do have to take the block off completely, as well as the caliper base. Now we're going to set up the tool to measure the 1, 2, 3 side, lock down 
lock in place with the straight edge. Snap in the caliper base. And then take the measurement. One, two, three should come in somewhere around 9807. Coming in at 9825. That's 9820. And 9817. Just both well within 25 hundredths of a millimeter. Again, if you need to change out the shims, go ahead and change out the shims. Once your sprockets are aligned, the next step is going to be putting in the woodruff keys and completely locking down the cams, uh, locking down the sprockets on the end of the cams and mounting the chains. And after that, then you're ready to time the cams themselves. Uh, before you do that, make sure that the cams are pointed with the woodruff key or with the punch mark pointed up and the uh, engine set at top dead center. So it's set, torque down, torque down the bolts, and you're good to go to the next step. Tune in. See you soon. Thank you.